we're going to go through how you do the uh, halide test. So what I've done is I've put a drop of four different chemicals into the well plates. I've put a bromide, a chloride, an iodide, and my unknown. In this case, my unknown is going to be sodium carbonate. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take silver nitrate. And when I mix a drop of that with each one, then it's going to form a precipitate for each one. And they're going to be slightly different for each one. Let me get a good handle on this here. There we go. So drop there. Drop there. Drop here. And drop here. So let me get that on here so we can see these. So here are my different precipitates. And so right now, my unknown looks a little bit similar to these two. So this one's actually a little bit of a yellowish color. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. Uh, this one is clearly different for the iodide. So it's definitely not an iodide. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this under a UV light. And these are going to then change to a different color, potentially. And then we're going to re-examine how they look, and hopefully we'll be able to confirm that my unknown is not a halide really easily. So now I've got kind of a cream yellow color. This is kind of a purple gray color. This is a yellow cream color. And here we still have kind of a whitish color. If I set that on the white paper, you can see the difference in them. So on here, these look a little similar, but on the on the camera it's not showing. This has a tinge of yellow, so this is this is definitely different than this. Actually, I can see a little bit now. So my precipitate here is different than those three. So then I would go on to my next anion test after I've confirmed that. If this were the same as one of those three, then I would know whether I had a bromide, a chloride, or an iodide.